Hi, my name is Corey Moster and I'm the Libro here at Michigan State University. Um, we're going to be showing you a side slide today, both to the right and to the left, and then kind of slowing it down and walking you through the steps. So, here we go. Hi, this is Jim Stone with Art of Coaching Volleyball, and we're really happy to be joined today by Corey Moster, the Libro from Michigan State. Actually, I should, an All-American Libro at Michigan State, and also a member of the USA Collegiate National Team last summer that toured China. And Corey is going to go through the, the side slide and how it might be a progressive move towards teaching the younger players to roll. Um, so as we go through this action video, you can see some of the components of what we're going to talk about and how it's actually used in a, in a game situation. So Corey, we appreciate you helping us out with this instructional video and talk a little bit about how you might have learned this move and, and in what situations you use it in a, in a game environment. Well, I think the biggest thing about a side slide move is that the whole point of it is to extend your range and especially for younger girls learning to play volleyball and defense, you want to be able to do that but keep your body in not only the correct technique but also in a safe form. So we do, we do a lot of work on side slides and keeping our safety for our knees too. And it's, you know, so many of the, the, the Libros out there are kind of smaller in stature, to, so to be able to expand your range is certainly critical. So here you are just kind of doing a, an initial demo. Uh, tell us kind of what you focus on. Well, you notice the first thing that I do is take that right now, the step to the right. So this big step to the right is really what extends your range. Um, but notice how when I take that step, the thing that leads is actually my wrists and my shoulders. So in, in these key positions, we tried just to just isolate some things that are, are important. And the first was, you know, your starting position, and then we go, feet go first. So maybe you can take it in terms of these, these key points. So take your first step to the ball, and yeah, you always want to keep your hips under the ball. But notice my shoulders in this picture, too. I'm extending my range with my step, but my shoulders are always turning back to the target. And that's what's going to play the ball high off the net and back into the middle of the court. And the problem that we see with so many younger players is, is their knee goes out and it, it kind of turns their shoulders away from the target. Can you talk about the importance of that? I touched on this a little bit before, but when I said keep your shoulders leading in front of your knees, you can see here that my shoulders go first. And that's, I notice a lot with younger volleyball players, that if their knee leads before their shoulders, um, it stops them short and that it is easier for them to go straight onto that kneecap. Um, so when you take that first step, really make sure that you're cutting the ball off and driving your shoulders and arms under the ball. Um, and that's automatically going to turn your knee in and turn onto the side of your leg rather than right on top of that knee. And using the same mechanics is a good progressive move towards teaching younger players to roll because it's still a step, your shoulders stay forward and you go to your back and then progressively over your shoulders. So we've, we've stopped um, Corey in each of the key positions. And as you can see here, it always starts with a step to the ball. So your, your feet go first, your knee goes towards the midline, not away from the body midline. So at this point, it's the same whether she's doing a side slide or rolling. You get into the same posture, going to the side, your, your shoulders stay facing where you want the ball to go. You kind of go, roll to your back, and then progressively you go back over your shoulder and back onto your feet. So in, as kind of a wrap-up, Corey, what would you say would be the, the two or three key components of a good side slide and maybe progressing to a roll? Um, that first step, I also want to say that the biggest thing about that first step is to push off that leg because that's what's going to really extend your range. Um, the next things I would say is turn those shoulders back into the middle of the court, and that's kind of when you see me go to my back. That's because I'm really forcing myself to turn those shoulders in. On behalf of the Art of Coaching Volleyball, we certainly want to thank Corey for sharing her tips with us today. And for the coaches that are viewing this video, we certainly want to underscore the repetition needed to acquire these types of skills. And we'd certainly encourage you to plan a portion of your practice on a daily basis 
for mastering the skills necessary in the side slide and rolling skill.